Cephas recorded the death of James, I believe. Hey, I think they threw him off a cliff. I forget exactly how they did it. They did him dirty, bro. Or threw him down some steps. I got it. We can look it up. I was just reading about that a couple days ago. Yeah, the brother of the Lord, they all got put to death. You know what I mean? A couple of them uh, didn't die, but they they didn't have it easy. You know what I mean? Stephen. Stephen. He was the first ones to go after the Lord. And he went out like a, well, as they say, he went out like a G. <laughs> yeah, uh, they cut Isaiah. Uh, Jeremiah, he, I think he escaped it. They kid, they saw it. The tradition said, uh, hey, let's just get that in Hebrews, uh, okay, Hebrews 10. Yeah, Isaiah, they they saw it. Isaiah's head off of the saw. I was holding that too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I did something else, bro. That's good. All right, fellas, the Maccabees, you're going to be the mom of the Maccabees and just stay faithful to the Lord, man. Oh, they, they, uh, they just got terrible. Cut their tongue out. Torch. Fried alive on a frying pan. Right, man. Right. You know what I mean? I think it's a kind of unspeakable action to the last one. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, we're going to do all kind of unspeakable shit to him. Yeah. You don't read something, Isaiah? Yeah, Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10. Uh, what's in the... Uh, no, it's in 11. Eight. I can't always get Ain't 11 going in all that faith and all that? Yeah, that's it. Hebrews 11 and uh, verse 6. It says, And others had tri uh, trial through mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sown asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword, and wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains, the dens and caves of the earth. And these all have attained the good report through faith, received not the promise of God, have been promised something where their things was. That they without us should not be slain. That they without us should not be made perfect. Right, so uh, it said the prophets walked about in sheepskins and goatskins. It didn't say the prophets was rocking three uh, peace suits, wearing Rolexes, driving an Escalade. It didn't say that. It said they walked about destitute. And it said that the people hated the prophets and hated the preachers. They chopped their heads off, stoned them to death. They they hated the Lord so much, they put him on a cross and crucified him. Now people looking at us like they want to do the same thing to us. Like we might have to roll up on these people. We might have to shut them down. People don't like the words that we speak because we speak the words of, of truth. Hey, let me get that. Uh, I got a description for that one too. People don't hate us, they hate the Lord, you know what I mean? That's right. All right, that's what I was about to get. John uh, 7 and 7. Is that John 7? Oh, yeah, that's that spiritual number, 7 and 77. John 7 and 7. This is red letters. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Oh, shit. He had not the spirit. Now, he didn't throw the spirit off. Shit. <laughs> he had not the spirit. You got a heathen come up here, bro. That's a. <laughs> Let me get this though. John 7 and 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. You know what I mean? He called them out. But that's why, that's why everybody hated it. I see people, they was just sitting down at a bus stop looking at us in disgust. And it's like, I wish these motherfuckers would shut the hell up. You know what I mean? I like that look, too. I like that look, too. We ain't doing nothing wrong. Yep. I give them a look back seven times dirty. You know what I mean? The feelings is mutual, Jeff. And we out here, you know, speaking them beautiful words. Nobody, man. Yeah, all right, we harmless as thugs. I got another one, though. I got a precept. Because if you die, like, if you die for a committed adultery or selling drugs, ain't nothing to worry about. What have you done for a son? Being innocent. Look, man, you know that's what you say. Oh, you died. 
went down and registered and got a stamp. And a man he to Faith on your house signs, so rise first. I got one for you. Well, this goes to, you know, he was talking to the scribes and first, but this goes to everybody that don't believe, you know what I mean? But John 8 and 44, say, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Okay, that's that spirit of murder right here, especially amongst the young kids. All these young Israelites out here, they got that spirit of murder on them. They all, all they, uh, to murder, murder, all they raps is talking about murder. Run up on people, they all talk about guns, they all packing, you know what I mean? I guarantee you, you know, like most of these teenagers, they walk around strapped. You know what I'm saying? Strapped, dude. They walk, and they'll kill you too. They'll run up on you, rob you, kill you. <laughs> oh, was it? They it's supposed to be the secret society, but they grab, they advertise this shit. They can chew him up yeah, and spit his ass out. He ain't nobody today. Uh, let me continue on this. But uh, he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he's a liar and a father of it. Oh, that's when these people come up and they come up to us speaking lies. Cause we out here speaking the truth and people have a problem with it and they gonna come at us with them lies that men talk. You know what I mean? They come here with that bullshit. And, the, and through the spirit of the Lord, we're gonna, we gonna squash your bullshit. We ain't having it. We ain't gonna tolerate it. You know what I mean? We are not the ones. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Right? That we tell these people the truth, they don't believe it. We tell them that the Lord only came for Israel, they don't believe it. We tell them that the Lord is a black man, they don't believe it. We tell them that the, 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 the UFOs is chariots, they don't believe it. We tell them that the Bible says don't eat pork, they don't believe it. You know what I mean? They don't believe nothing we say, even though it's all in this Bible. Uh, and be uh, and because I tell you the truth, you believe it not. Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. <laughs> That's a good one, though. No That's if you don't hear these words, because you can't process this information because the Lord ain't dealing with you. You know what I mean? Ancient Kemet. That's heathen shit, bro. We Kimmet's ain't on that heathen shit. You don't even, Kemet's not the way you even say that, man. Say that again, brother. You don't, it's not pronounced Kemet. No, nope, it's Kyle. Right. It's not pronounced Kemet. It's Kyle. What's it happen? Okay, if you're a scholar, how is it pronounced? No, you said it wrong again. You're a scholar. Say it's it calm. It's calm. Calm. But then you said it was God. No, I said it's Hebrew. Well, yeah, it's Hebrew. Right, it's Hebrew. But then stuff. you know how to pronounce it. It's calm. It's Hebrew. It's, it's Hebrew. It's Hebrew. It's Hebrew. It's Hebrew. But then you saying I'm wrong. But you are wrong. Problem. We having fun. We have fun. But yeah, we, how, we, what's we it mean? Fun. What's it mean? It's the land of black folks. No. But what is the it word? No. no. Well, no, they it are God's people. It ain't our people. It ain't our people. It ain't us. They're not you. God. I know. You too. Oh, go okay. ahead. Hold on. You too. All right. No, okay. no, no, no. Let me ask you a question. Listen, That's a good point. See. Now, where in that, in that Kimmich writings, where does it say that you are God? I'm waiting. Give me a, give me a it's reference. It's already in. Give me no, a, no, give no. me a reference, We're though. Writing, it's already where, in. where did they write it down? We're in the writing. That book? Yeah. No. The only place that says the word God is this book. That man made that book. That's yeah, the only book. It's made. the only book that says you're a God, though. Through the spirit, put it in me. in your head. Thank you. No. Kim, hey, hey, man, hey, man, do that, uh, that, uh, the spirit shit going on the wall, they draw us and shit. The hieroglyph. Uh, yeah, the man drew that shit too. Yeah, the man drew the hieroglyph. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's one of the biggest proofs I'm trying to say proof that, that, that Egyptian shit is real. Don't be a hypocrite, man. But, uh, the, but the only spiritual teachings that say that we are gods is the Bible. It, the the, the Kemet don't say that. Hold on now, let me get on you now. Uh, How you gonna uh, get on me? <laughs> hey, y'all be cool, man. Thank All right, you. All right. And that's that thing, though. They always try to say, oh, we God. Oh, that's God. He couldn't do nothing with it. That's why I got a dog. He's like, I can't fucking go. Yep. That's the only book out there that actually says the word God. You know, that's what Jake loved to say, oh, my God. Like the five percenters. Like, I was listening to, uh, you know, you know, I like to listen to Rock Kim, you know what I mean? But you know, Rock Kim's a five percenter. And he's always saying, what's up, God? You know, this and that. But where where do they get that from, bro? 
only book you're going to find that is, that it is in the Bible. Only Israel talk. Only Israel talk. Because like, only Israel's guys. Oh, uh, yeah. That's fucked out too. Yeah, that's a damn shame Rock came on that 5% of shit. Yeah, they have pretty beautiful beards, but they get, they butcher Yeah. They butcher the shit all up. Carving them up, all that. You know, nigga cut his money. That's some weird shit. The fuck out of shit, Jake. He was out there. Yeah, he was out there. Um, this is uh, Matthew 13, I'm starting at 10. And, and the Bible came and said unto them, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Right, so this, that's more proof that the truth is not for everybody. And that's what we don't get all stressed out. Like, oh my God, I can't believe they don't get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I used to. Uh, I used to be like that, right? I used to flip the fuck out. I used to flip out. You like, motherfucker. I can't even not understand this, man. I can't even understand this. What's wrong with you? It's so simple and plain. Hey, they can't even understand this shit that's not in a parable. You know what the drugs, they can't understand, like, the plain writings, let alone a parable. You know what I mean? Exactly. He is not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That is plain and simple. <laughs> yep. Verse 12, for whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall not have, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore, speak I to them in parables, because they see, see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. <laughs> 14, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, 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 which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. Right. Now, what is this all doing? That too, yep. You know, this right. is part of the message. Right, we could come out here and give people all the proof in the world. We could come out here with a, a whole library of books. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they still ain't gonna believe us. Right. Books that he saw wrote too. Yeah, we we can have. Like and they ain't gonna believe you. Get, these people, man, they believe, they'll see some with their own eyes and still not believe it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. Here you go, bro. This is Second Peter's two and twelve. I'm gonna start at twelve. No, I'm starting at ten. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government. Uh, that despising <laughs> government mean uh. Despising the order that the Lord has set up, not despising uh, the fuck United States Senate. You know what I mean? But we despise the hell out of that. Even though we still gotta obey their bullshit laws. You know what I mean? You gotta be smart and obey their laws, otherwise you're gonna get locked up. You know what I mean? Presumptions are they self-willed? They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Oh, that's and people will speak evil of it because really. The Lord set us up to be the uh, the, uh, the government. That's what 144,000 is. When you go into the 144,000, that's going to be that governing body of Israel in the kingdom. I, I got a scripture to back you up on that too. Uh, I just quoted, you know, in Matthew 19, it says, you know, the people who follow the Lord in the kingdom and the regeneration, we're going to be on the 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. You know what I mean? Whereas angels which are greater in power and might bring not railing accusations against them before the Lord, but these, as natural root beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of things that they understand not. Right, that goes into also like uh, you got people like on YouTube that come against the elders of Great Millstone that taught them everything they know, right? Like, uh, you ain't supposed to come against like your elder that taught you everything you know. You know what I mean? Just because you disagree with them on a couple points or whatever, it's usually over some minor bullshit too. You know what I mean? A couple of disagreements here and there. Instead, of you just holding your tongue and praying about it. You got to come out and be a demon, just start all kind of drama. You know what I mean? Just, just hold your peace, man. Absolutely. Say, say you uh, you got someone who taught you everything you know, but say there's a couple points you disagree on. Just hold your peace, man. Keep your mouth shut. Pray on it. You may, maybe maybe you just, huh? You just pray continuously. Pray continuously. Maybe, maybe, kind of shit to pray for. Because maybe, maybe you know, a couple years down the line, you'll come to the understanding, and then you will be in agreement with them. Yeah. Or maybe a couple years down the line, they'll actually correct themselves, and they, you know, what I mean, you just don't know. 
You just gotta be spiritual, man. You can't be out, you know, like the scripture said, don't rebuke an elder. You can't be doing that. That's not the right way to do shit. These as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. How your boy Yaka now? What Yakko, Wacko Yakko. He gets so bent out of shape, he'll go uh, looking at, he'll get on your ass like a private eye detective. You know what I mean? He'll follow you to work. <laughs> He'll be sleeping in your bushes. Be like, I'm a. Uh huh? Tenant windows. Yeah, tenant windows. He got binoculars. Just like Karaz sent his son out here. They're spying on Oh, yeah. They be spying on us. Oh, hell no. That's the spirit. And a wicked nigga was riding by on his bike a couple times. That was Karaz's son, right? Karaz was parked over on the main road somewhere. Yeah, that one day. That's why he was, because his son went to the car. Wicked shit, man. It's wicked, man. It's just wicked, man. And the same ones that always like to rebuke the elders, they always the ones talking about unity. <laughs> Mine explodes, you know what I mean? It's like, wow. Unity, but they rebuking elders. Okay. So you gotta be spiritual when you do this work, man. You can't be a demon. Verse 13. And shall receive the reborn of unrighteousness, as they count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are and blemished, <coughs> sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery, and they cannot cease from sin. And just continuously in thought of going wicked. Just like Esau. Same shit as Esau. Yeah, brothers in the truth, they got one foot in the truth and one foot in the world. They can't, they don't want to, they can't make their mind up, you know what I mean? What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? What's up, prophesizing the truth about the most high? Okay. Yeah. Man, you got some more questions? Yeah, I got some more questions. Yeah, I got some more questions. Still the greatest, though. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like... What about your boy coming up, uh, Conor McGregor versus uh, Mayweather? That's a big setup. Yeah, that's already a setup, seen, right? What, what do you think? How they gonna do it? Cause you know it's already I, I, set up. I, I personally believe he gonna they gonna arrange it so they gonna he did not let Mayweather out. That's what I see coming. I don't think it's gonna go no distance. Cause you know that's just rigged. Oh, of course it's gonna be rigged. That's too much money. In all reality, Mayweather can kill that motherfucker, man. He's not a boxer. Mayweather is a trained. He's a prize fighter. Right. He's a prize fighter. That's why they call him a prize Bad fighter. Skills, bro. Bad skills, man. Bad yeah, skills. The only undefeated boxer is what? Mayweather right. and no, Marcus. No, there's only one. That's Rocky Marciano. Marciano? Yeah, Rocky Marciano. Mayweather ain't never lost. And they ain't gonna let him with Mayweather, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They gonna cause a loss because they yeah. don't want him to have that same record. Because I think this, yeah, if he wins, he's gonna break. I think they have the same record now. The same record, I think. Nah, 40. It's like 49. And they cause it. And they don't want him to break that. Well, it's a lot of talking there. But I just think it's going to be a, a set up because I think they're going to please the, the, the gambling. Right? Yeah, it's going all that by that game. And you got all these stupid ass white people thinking it's like a racial thing. And they so stupid, they don't even understand that Conor McGregor is a black man. They don't even know that. Straight up Yeah, a wild ass drunken Irishman. You know what I mean? <laughs> Crazy as hell. Cool as hell, though. They he got a cool look personality. Look. Yeah, he does, though, don't he? Cool-ass personality. Yeah, he talk all kind of shit. I personally like him, man. Yeah, I like him, too. I don't like Mayweather, but, but in all reality, he can't like beat Mayweather. Mayweather, man. He cannot beat Mayweather. Like that? That's not possible. They gonna either drug Mayweather. Something's going to happen. But I hope they do cause some race shit, man. Some racial shit. It already has started, though. You see, I see it all over YouTube uh, uh, and all the different sites. You read the comments. It's all yeah, racial it's in the all comments. Racial. You know? Saying, yeah, exactly. That's what they be saying. I hope so. They so stupid. They don't. These dumbass white people don't understand the all white people are not the same people. You know what I mean? That's how stupid these people are. They they base everything upon what their eyes see, and not what the spirit sees. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They, they look everything is physical with these people out here. Back to Second Peter's two. You know, all the, uh, I, the Isaiah 3 had a problem with that. You see? Right, she didn't like that. No, didn't like that. That's right. You speak bad about her enemy, man. That's why the Lord cursed the scab of your head. That's right. 
pussy. No, that shit's not. No, no. I mean, we was bad to talk like that, you know what I mean? But hey, it is what it is. Right. Verse 14, having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin, be dwelling unstable souls, and in and, and part they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children. Cursed children. Which have forsaken the right way and are going astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Bosor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. That's our people, man. They, they follow the way of the Baal, the devil. Actually, they like literally worship the devil. Like Christmas is all about Baal worship. That's like, when you go to the history of Christmas, they all go back to the worship of Baal. Ain't got nothing to do with the Bible or sweet Jesus, none of that. You know what I mean? They claim they love Jesus, but they worship Baal and celebrate Christmas and Ishtar, what they call Easter. We'll go back to Ishtar, the wife of Baal. That's what Easter is. Easter is uh, comes from the word Ishtar. In the Bible, she's known as uh, Astarte, Asherah, Ishtar, Isis. But she was the wife of Baal, and that's what Easter is all about. It ain't got nothing to do with the Bible. It's pure devil worship. Go ahead. Verse 16, but was rebuked for his iniquity. The young man speaking with man's voice forbade the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water. Oh, that was talking about Baalim, the false prophet. Well, it's still going to Baal worship, too. He's a heathen anyway. These are wells without water. Clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. For when they speak, great swelling words of vanity. They are Lord through the dust of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escaped from him were live, who live in error. While they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought into bondage. For if they, after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, through the knowledge of our Lord and our side, the Lord just said, these people are polluted, bro. He said they polluted, the pollution of the world. They polluted, you know what I mean? They filthy. Pollution is filth. Right. Well, if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and our Savior, and our Lord, and our Father, they were again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse than them than the beginning. Than the beginning. They have been better. Now, that goes into like two uh we was just talking about how brothers fall out. And when That's they fall right. yeah, when they fall out, yeah, they get even worse and worse. Yeah. You know, first, you know thought they thought they got their shit together, got their life right, right? You like, I can get my life together. Right, and, and judgment didn't come right away by the red and congested. Yeah. They think, hold on, I can I can make it. I'm yeah. the truth will be around five years from now. But let me just go, please, just bitch real quick to shut her up. <laughs> let me run back in the world, because it's kilos to sound. No, not that way. For after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of our Lord, the house, the house, the sun, they are again entangled therein and overcome. And that's just the spirit of the Lord put that spirit back on the back of the people. He put a spirit of, uh, uh, of wickedness on them. But at this time, he put seven more, what's the scoop one with us? Just thinking. Right, he put seven more demons on that motherfucker that's yeah. worse off than he was from the beginning. And that's everybody, man. Ain't no exceptions out there that you can stop doing the work, stop following after the Lord, stop seeking real knowledge, understand, understanding, and you still abandon the Lord. Oh, that doesn't sound like it. It's not stupid, to be honest with you. What is that scripture? They tasted the gift or? Yeah, that's where you're at. Yeah, that's where you're at, yeah. For it had been better for them not let me, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. So you better off being a two third and not coming into this and then coming in and then falling back out. Right, because once you learn, you learn all them commandments. And then, then, you know what I mean? And then you go back into the world, you go back to selling drugs. Here it is, you knew the whole truth, all the deep mysteries, the breakdowns. You know that the scripture says, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, which means what? To sell drugs. That's a, that's a witch. When you look that word witchcraft up in the New Testament, the Greek word there is pharmakia, going to the, you know, selling drugs or pharmaceuticals. So you got brothers that come into the truth, go fall out, go back to selling drugs. 
Like it, Tribune of Thoughts? Wasn't that one that Duke got put to death or something? For, for the Dallas or something? For the Dallas. I bet you that was brother related or something. That's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. Would it have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy of man to live unto them? But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again. And the soul that was washed is more well in the mind. Right, yeah, it said like a fool is to his folly, so is a dog returned to his own vomit. You know what I mean? So the scripture says we're prisoners in this, man. You escape out of this prison, man. You this you going back out into the world that you, you got something. <laughs> Shit, we in the safe zone. Right, the safe zone, right. This is like, you know, you say, yeah, we're prisoners, right? You get outside.